Well, good morning, and thank you for joining the Word Works Ministries. Today, the title of our lesson, talk, whatever it is, is anyway, and that is because we are going to be talking more about the promises of God, but this time it's going to be anyway blessings. You know, last week they were if blessings. If you did this and that, this or that, then he would do this or that. Um, there's no condition on these blessings that we have today. Uh, pray with me. Father, help me to say what I need to say. The way I need to say it. And then shut up. Thank you for your anointing, God. God, I pray that these blessings these promises will bless your people throughout the rest of their lives, God, and even impact their seed and their seed seed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I just want to encourage you, encourage you this morning uh, with these promises of God. And I encourage you to make a poster or something, uh, type them up or whatever it is, and put them in your secret closet or somewhere where you can see them every day as a reminder of God being with you. Now the number seven represents completion. So today we have seven unconditional promises of God. Promise number one, and y'all know me, y'all know I like the King James version, but these are written these are come from other translations mostly the niv um and it just it just says it so nicely the first one is joshua chapter one and verse five which reads i will never leave you nor forsake you mm, you can believe that now if you feel alone or you feel forsaken just know that is from the enemy or it's a possibility that you have left God not because he left you the second one is Psalms 32 and 8 I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go I will counsel you and watch over you God will instruct us he'll teach us he'll tell us the way to go I let me tell you this <laughs> I um have a little testimony here about that, about God instructing us. Um, I needed some ink for my printer, and I found it cheaper online. I mean, Walmart was $39. Just everywhere I looked, it was just expensive. So I found it for $23 online, and I was like, yes, I'm going to order it online. The Holy Spirit just kept prompting me not to order the ink. And I'm like, wait a minute, God is cheaper online. And I stressed myself and I looked for ink prices and I ran to thrift stores and I was looking for ink. I was like, maybe the Lord is telling me that I can find it cheaper somewhere else. And so that's the route I took. So finally, when I wore myself out, I said, God, why can I not order it online? It was not until after that, that I, it, it, came up that I needed the ink now. I found it a, like $8 cheaper than Walmart, <laughs> but I, and I just thank God for instructing me, for teaching me and, and telling me the way that I should go. I, the way, the route to go was not to order the ink because it would have taken days and ended up I needed it now. So I, that, it was just awesome. This, the or second, third one, I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, God, for the rescue. God will rescue you. I give me tell you something too about God. He is not coming when you want him. <laughs> but he is always on time. And you can take that to the bank. He is not coming when you want him. <laughs> One, two, three. Number four. I, uh, Isaiah 41, I'm sorry, I will sustain you and I will rescue you. That was Isaiah 46 and 4. Okay, uh, number 4, Isaiah 41 and 10. 
I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 and 10. God strengthens us, strengthens us. I think about the scripture says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Genesis 28, 15. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. If God sends you somewhere, don't be afraid to obey. Don't be afraid to go. Because Genesis 28, 15 tells us that he will that he is with us and he will watch over us with oh, ah yeah. thank you God wherever we go be bold for Christ oh Lord help me I need boldness too <laughs> the next one that was Genesis uh, twenty eight fifteen. the next one is Isaiah 49 and 16 I have engraved you on the palms of my hand God cannot forget you because you are right there. We are right there in the palms, both both hands, palms of his hands. He's holding us and caring for us and providing for us and protecting us. He's right there. We're right there with him, right in the palm of his hand. And nobody can snatch us out. That was Isaiah 49, 16. The last one, Leviticus 26 and 12. I will walk among you and be your God and you will be my people. Hallelujah. Just think about that. Don't you want God to, oh, hey, thank you, God, to walk among you, to be our God and we be his people? That is awesome. Thank you, God, for your presence in our lives, God. Thank you for walking among us. Thank you for holding us in the palm of your hands. Thank you for having us engraved there, God. Thank you for being with us wherever we go. Thank you, Lord, God, for strengthening us. Thank you, God, for leading us and guiding us. Thank you for never forsaking us or leaving us. Thank you, God. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you, Father. Amen. Well, that's all I have for you today. Short and quick. Um, I do want to leave you with this thought. You know, at the end, I always let you know that God loves you. But I want you I want to leave you with this thought today. When you tell God that you love him, he replies back to you, I love you more. Be blessed.